Okay, so far so good, right? So let's review real quick on what we've done. We created our library on our external drive. And what is the library? It's, it contains your entire project and your media and everything. And it's portable. And you're going to keep that on your external drive. Number three, we've imported our media. And we did that several ways. We got it from our external drive. If we had any media that we had copied there from somewhere else, like for instance stills, uh, we took it from an SDAC card from our camera, or we could even hook our camera up via a USB to the computer, and it would import it that way too, but it would look just like the card, and we got the clips. And we also created an event, and here's our event up here, uh, and the event is what? It's just a way to store your media, and you can have multiple events under a library, but only one library. Although that said, you could have multiple libraries, uh, but each one of those uh, in turn would have uh, these kind of subfolders of events. Um, but iMovie is very flexible. You can take clips from one event and put it in another library. If we had another library open. Very, very flexible. So we're not going to get all too confused right now. And while we're at it, uh, let me just say one more thing is that we imported uh, by using the import button, uh, and then we went and we located and navigated to our media. But you could literally drag some media in here. I've got a just a little still picture that uh, that uh, I had on my desktop. You could you could drag that in there too. <laughs> you you could you could you could drag it right in there. Uh, I'm going to do a Command Z, and I'm going to get rid of that. It's too confusing at this moment. Uh, Command Z, by the way, is your best friend. It just simply goes back in time and will undo your moves. Command Z all the way back to the time you open. And by the way, iMovie does not save per se. It does dynamic saving. That means if the power went out right now and this computer just blinked off while your work is saved, and that's because it saves all by itself all the time. So every time you open your project, every time you open your library, which is on your hard drive, you can and you work maybe two hours, you could literally command Z all the way back to the time you open. So that's very, very powerful. Of course the next time you open, uh, you can't go beyond you can't go like yesterday and open but <laughs> you can, you know, so so keep that in mind. Okay, that's a very wonderful feature, right? Uh, you don't have to save as you go. I think a lot of applications are, are going to that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is literally create our project. And that's, a, that's the third component of what you have in your, in your library. And the project is a timeline. It's where you are going to put your media. Now take a look at this interface here and things are going to just drastically change in just a second because I'm going to create a project and here we go. How do we do that? I just happen to know that if you do new it will or you can go file and you can put new movie. Now why is it calling it movie and not project? Well that's just a quirk of iMovie. It is actually a project, but iMovie calls it a movie. So we have to go with the flow with iMovie. Here we go. We're going to uh, just go new movie or command in. Command in is a keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to talk about keyboard shortcuts all through here because that really improves your workflow as far as speed. So you don't have to you know, keep going to file this or file that. Okay, so here's our, they call it themes. There's all these different kinds of themes are actually, these are already kind of pre-arranged timeline. They have music and things. These are really fun. So when you get a chance, you should, you should definitely uh, just play with these. They're great fun and you'll see what I mean. But right now we're going to go with a blank one. So no theme you can tell by, uh, see it's got uh, the blue outline around there. So I'm going to do create and it's going to ask me to name it. So it's going to be, it has to be associated with an, with an event. And even that's not written in stone. It's very, I mean, it's very flexible. So uh, we're going to just call this one uh, Fun at the Lake. Just because that's what our library is called. There's no, we can name it anything you want. It's just going to be associated with our one event at this moment. Here we go. Now, look at that. Everything 
is getting ready for bear here. So we're ready to go. Okay, so what did it do? It created a timeline for us. That that's where we're going to put our media, which is simply choosing clips. And what is a movie? It's just one clip after another in the final analysis. And then it plays, you know, literally uh, as, it, as it goes. This is our playback. Yeah, there's, I can't drag it because... <laughs> There's nothing to, to drag it over, but wherever this playback head is, that's where you're going to see things up here in this, this canvas, which is a window up here. But look down here. Look what appeared with our project. This is the content library. Yes, another library to, to learn. These are full of all kinds of fun things, transitions and titles and actual video right here, maps and backgrounds. And when you go down these sound effects, which is really access to built-in audio, right, in iMovie, as well as these things. So all of these are built into every copy of iMovie. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be there wherever you open the application. And GarageBand, you don't really need to pay attention to iTunes, not either, because we don't have an iTunes library on our local hard drive, right? Uh, so just kind of ignore the iTunes and the GarageBand. The GarageBand you completely ignore. The iTunes will mention that at the end when we're exporting. But but anyway, I'll say this, uh, and I hope you remember it for later on. But you could literally make a movie with just the content library that's in iMovie. You really could. You could you could do uh, the, everything that we're about to do with our media that we imported. You could make something out, out of this, but um, you'll see what I mean as, as we go along. Okay, so remember, we have our one event here, which has all our media, and I'm going to scroll up here, and uh, you can see we have our audio clips, and uh, we have our, our stills, uh, as indicated by these little camera icons and the video, and I'm mousing over, and of course it gives you the clip time and everything, and if I click here and use the space bar to play. It plays in our canvas and it'll do, uh, it won't really play. It looks like it's <laughs> advancing, but that's a still picture. And of course down here, you know, that's video and, uh, and so on. So let's do uh, something that you probably should do, uh, even though it's not entirely necessary. And that's, let's create some more bins so that we can keep better track of our media. So we're still in our library, but let's go ahead and create another event. So new event. And look, at, it goes down here and it falls to today's date. But I'm going to make this one for my stills. I'm going to call it Lake Stills. And I'm going to go, and while I'm at it, let's make another one for... Uh, we're going to call this one audio, right? So you see where I'm going with this, right? So here's our video. Well, watch how cool this is. Uh, you can, I'm going to highlight this by uh, double clicking and you can see the yellow outline. So I'm just going to drag it to our audio and watch, you see where, where I'm going with that. So, and I'm going to just do the same thing up here. You don't even really have to highlight it that much, I guess. Just kind of drag it, click it and drag it up there. Now, where do you think it's going to be? Exactly. And you get the idea. So there's nothing in stills. We're going to take our stills and do the same thing. So it just it, this is just giving you an idea how uh, iMovie organizes things. So these three are in a row. So I'm going to highlight this and I uh, do the shift click, right? And, you know, just like any other kind of application. So there they are, and they're st in the stills. Did we get them all? Looks like we did. So now what we have in our video is literally video, and there's our st stills. There we go.